How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about the four easiest ways to hide your IP address. Now, hiding your IP address is basically borrowing a different IP address to go anywhere on the internet and stay hidden. You're masking your real IP address with a borrowed one. Now, the reasons why you might want to mask your IP address may include, you know, hiding your geographical location, uh, preventing web tracking, avoiding a digital footprint, or bypass any content filters, bans, or blacklists, or maybe you're just trying to safely uh, and anonymously torrent files or access geo-restricted streaming services that would not be available to you otherwise. Now, there are a few ways you can hide your IP address. The best way is by using a VPN, but I understand there are too many VPNs on the market today. And so, you know, it can be a little bit tedious to uh, pick one that is actually reliable. And so that's why I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to these three is the best overall. They all vary in budgets and features. So pick and choose depending on your own situation and what you're looking for out of these VPNs. And as you can tell on my IP finder, just to demonstrate very quickly, I was just recently connected to the Dallas server, which is why it says I'm in Dallas. But let's just go ahead and demonstrate using any of these VPNs. We'll go with ExpressVPN. Just pick any other server. Let's just go with something European in this case. We'll connect to France, for example. And the moment I'm connected to the French server, just uh, go to the IP finder right here, refresh, and it will show as if I'm in France. And of course, as a result, I also have access to all kinds of uh, French services, uh, websites, streaming services, anything that's available in France. I mean, as far as my internet is concerned, as far as my computer is concerned, I am in France. The second option would be the Tor browser. So you can go to the Tor browser uh, and download it and you'll have this uh, folder right here and you can start the Tor browser. Now, people from all over the world use Tor to search and buy products and communicate with others with restricted internet access, such as what exists in some foreign countries. The Tor browser, like Chrome, Firefox, or Safari, is a free software program that you download onto your computer that conceals your IP address every time you go online anonymously. This free process is layered with heavy-duty encryption, which means your data is layered with security and privacy protection. Unfortunately, the browser isn't really built for speed, and because it takes a lot of time to go through all these layers of encryption, it's just very slow. And also, because the Tor browser is usually associated with illicit activities, it's always best to pair it with a VPN so that your ISP doesn't know that your real IP address is connected to the Tor browser. The third option would be to just go to your proxy settings onto your computer and you can go ahead and turn on, just use a proxy server. You can use free proxy servers or paid proxy servers. A proxy server, sometimes called an open proxy or just proxies, can be used to reroute your browser around a company's or school content filters. Now, there are risks involved in using free proxies to mask your IP address. Many will slow down your internet, some are run on compromised machines and may not be legal in some countries. A safer solution is to use proxies managed by a company such as Smart Proxy, for example. Or you can just simply use a VPN. If you're going to use a paid uh, proxy, I would just recommend you pay for a VPN because it is a much better service. At least it will give you better speeds. It will properly encrypt your traffic, um, making you completely anonymous. And uh, you won't be able to be intercepted by other parties on the network and you'll be able to access streaming services reliably. Now, the fourth option is by simply using a public Wi-Fi, which is the long distance way of doing things. An IP address doesn't travel with you. So if you simply go to a coffee shop, bookstore or hotel lobby and tap into their free Wi-Fi, you will temporarily hide your usual IP address. How so? Well, you'll be using their network's IP address for as long as you're online. Just connect to any public Wi-Fi and then check your IP finder and you'll see that you have a different IP address. However, if you're not using a VPN at the time, your internet activity will be at risk of being spied on or intercepted by bad actors without you even knowing it, especially if you're trying to make any online purchases or check your bank account while you're connected to public Wi-Fi. This is the most dangerous thing that you could do on public Wi-Fi. So if you have any transactions or if you're trying to buy anything on your uh, device while you're on public Wi-Fi, never do it without being connected to a VPN first. 
So in conclusion, the best way to hide your IP address is by using a recommended VPN. I know there are lots of VPNs on the market, which is why I've narrowed it down to these three as the best overall. These are the best VPNs for high speed bandwidth, usability, they have secure connections, private access to blocked sites, and the ability to choose the country and city where you appear to be. So if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find these pricing discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about the privacy policies, peace streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. And in case you're not satisfied with any of these VPNs, for whatever reason, you can get yourself that refund if you don't like any of them. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.